It was 2016 when we first introduced you to Captain Kermit Travers. He just received the Achievement in Living Traditions and Arts awarded by the Maryland State Arts Council. Captain Travers spent nearly 60 years on the water, one of only a very few black skipjack captains. In fact, he was the last. That's the title of a new book about Captain Travers, the last black skipjack captain. And look who we have here. This is Captain Kermit Travers of East Newmarket, along with Dr. Clara Small, the author of the book, The Last Black Skipjack Captain. Thank you both for being here this Thank afternoon. You. I want to start with you, Captain. It's been a couple years since we've seen you. How are you? I'm so fine, and you? I'm <laughs> doing very, very well. <laughs> um, do you still get out on the water? Any? Uh, I look at the water a lot, but I think uh, it's very time for me to just, just go fishing and so forth and just get it over. Yeah, let somebody else let guide somebody the boat. Else do it now. Yeah. There you. Dr. Small, could we ask, what compelled you to write this book? Well, over the years, since I've been in Salisbury since 77, I found that this is one of the richest areas in the country in terms of African American history. That has basically been ignored or neglected or suffered from benign neglect. So I started writing, especially when a student said on Friday afternoon at Salisbury University, uh, blacks have never done anything in this country. Oh. And mm. definitely not on the Eastern Shore. Oh. So I had to calm myself down, <laughs> mm -hmm. and I realized I couldn't kill him because I had too many witnesses. <laughs> so I said, okay. So I sent them home, I started writing. I wrote a 32-page document, Salisbury University published it, about blacks on the Eastern Shore. And since then, I've just started writing and um, biographies of African Americans and um, histories of uh, the United States color uh, troops Mm -hmm. on Del Marva. We, we did um, Somerset and Worcester County, we did Dorchester, and almost finished with Talbot County, oh almost 700 soldiers. So wow. when I met him, I said, well, I was going to include him in one of my books, Compass Points. And in the process, he was trying to find an author, and two other individuals had started working on it, but they never got far with it. No. So I agreed to work with him. Yeah. And that's how it began. Yeah. So tell us about this process. I mean, you obviously interviewed him. Interviewed him, interviewed family members, did research, found everything that had ever been published about him, and just started pulling it together. And it came to fruition around November last year. Yeah, about that, yeah. yeah. So, Captain, what's it like to see your story in print in a book? Well, uh, I've been asked uh, a lot of times before, you know, and uh, I had uh, one uh, writer there, he kept on me about writing my life story, so I told him, I said, look, I said, man, I said, I don't think I want to mess with that. He said, yes, he said, if you don't tell it now, he said, if you die, you can't tell it. It'll be gone. That's right. So I said, uh, I'll give it a thought. So every week he'd come down, he'd tell me, he said, uh, hey man, what you gonna do? I said, I don't know. I said, I'll think about it. So I, uh, I was asked to come up to uh, uh, Chesapeake College on Ray Street, and that's where I met uh, 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 Ms. Small. And, uh, and a lot of more important people. So I said, uh, let me uh, talk to some of these people. And after they found out who I was, uh, they started coming to me. I said, well, I said, I must got something here. I said, it must be important to people. I said, I didn't think my life would be important to people that much, you know, from where I came from. And I is. came from Black Water. Yeah. Yeah. I came from uh, where, uh, uh, Saint, I, matter of fact, uh, Hyatt Tubman and I were about seven, maybe seven and a half miles apart. Wow. So I lived all the way down the lower part of Black Water, and she, uh, she uh, uh, was up on 
by Green Bar Swamp. Oh my goodness. So, uh, yeah. Well, we, and, and it's a fascinating book. You talk about all the different jobs you've had, how you had to shuck oysters to, um, to support your, how many siblings? Not eight. Eight, eight siblings. Mm -hmm. Where can we pick up the book? Oh, they should be able to get some from you and from um, Saltwater Media mm -hmm. in Berlin. Uh, fantastic publishers. Yes. Wonderful. <laughs> and over at uh, Selwyn's. Yeah. Park so in Cambridge. Yes. Okay. So yes. we're in Craig's store. We'll be having some books to also. We'll have a link on our website so yes. that you can order the book if you like. Captain okay. Kermit Travers and Dr. Clara Small, thank you so much. Okay. And thank you for writing this very important mm -hmm. book. Thank okay. you. Thank, thank you for having us.